everybody, welcome to Elder Geeks Elder Speak. Today is Friday, October 17th, 2014. My name is Randy Asenchok. I'm the editor of eldergeek.com. In the background today, you're going to be seeing gameplay footage from The Evil Within. Uh, I'm not here to talk about The Evil Within. That's just sort of background decoration while I talk about uh, review policy and uh, some conduct policy stuff. Um, let's see. Some of, these, some of these policies have been in place and many people just didn't know about them. Uh, some of these things are going to be taking place right now. The only real change that's happening right now um, is that on the title card of every video review from here on out, I'm going to be putting um, I'm going to be putting where I got the game from. So I'm going to be putting whether I purchased it myself or if it was given to me by the developer, publisher, uh, or a PR company. Uh, that this is all for the sake of increasing transparency between me and the end user. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm putting that information on the title card as opposed to within the video information, you know, like on the info section on YouTube, is because uh, if the video is then embedded somewhere else, I want to make sure that that information goes along with it. This is a change that I thought to myself, oh, I'll make the change, at, you know, at the new year, you know, for some arbitrary reason in my brain. But uh, the reality is I should have done it a long time ago. So that information is going to be on every video here on out, starting with... Um, the Evil Within's video review. Um, now, I do accept uh, review copies from developers, publishers, PR companies. That you know, that's been kind of in place for a while now. Um, but I do not accept review copies um, with a caveat of giving it a specific score. Um, I also don't receive gifts from developers as well or publishers, and and I don't accept them. Uh, if they're offering um, travel accommodations, room accommodations, meal accommodations, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. all that that stuff, I you know, if it ha has to happen, I pay for it out of pocket. So if I have to, like, say, go to New York or something like that to go preview a game, you know, I'm I'm paying for all of that stuff myself. I also won't do and don't do um, video game sponsored events either. So if there is, and what I mean by sponsored events is like sponsored playtime. So if a company came to me and said, "Hey, play our game." Post gameplay footage of you online um, playing the game. It's not a critique. It's just you playing the game, but you're enjoying yourself playing the game, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and we'll give you X amount of dollars. I'm not going to do that. Um, I feel like that is a compromise in integrity. Uh, no, it is not a critique. But still, people are coming to me and this channel because they are seeing me as a critic, and I feel like that just. It crosses a line, personally, uh, and so I don't, I won't do that, and I will never do that. That being said, moving forward, if there's ever a time, um, and th there are a few of these, you know, features in mind, if there's ever a time when I do a feature on a specific game that is not me advertising uh, for that specific game, so with the 25 games for my son series, it's not like that's an advertisement for Nintendo. I don't want anybody to think that you know, any of these games are specific advertisements from any of these companies coming forward and being like, hey, you know, put a game on there. Uh, there's also a, a couple of other uh, features coming out that we're, we're working on, uh, kind of like where we, we started that Call of Duty uh, retrospective a while ago that was not sponsored by Activision. And if Activision came to us and said, hey, we'll pay you X amount of dollars if you put together this video series, we wouldn't do it that way. So uh, that's also the policy in terms of... Uh, um, accepting money for favorable presentation of a game. That's really it. You know, uh, I, I don't uh, I don't have any financial conflict of interest with any game companies. I don't work for any game companies, have not worked for any game companies. I, I'm not invested in any game companies. Uh, and the same thing all goes for my wife and relatives slash extended family. <laughs> I think that does it in terms of review policy. I, you know, I accept review copies, don't accept gifts, um, and don't accept review copies with any sort of caveat, except for the, the standard embargo stuff, which is mostly, most embargoes that come down the line boil down to, A, don't spoil our game, meaning like if there's any type of twist within the storyline, don't post about the twist, or B, don't post your review before um, XYZ date, and that's for the, that's honestly, a good policy that I enjoy to see because then every person out there who has a review copy of the game, everybody has a fair chance of putting out their reviews all at the same time. And, uh, you know, then consumers can read them all and, and make a, a good informed purchasing decision. Um, if at any time you feel like my integrity has been compromised, or if at any time you feel like I can be more transparent with um, viewers, readers, uh, etc., 
uh, please let me know. Uh, I um, I am constantly trying to improve the quality of the videos, and if integrity is something that you feel like needs to be improved upon, then you know I'm going to obviously do my best to do it. I'm not infallible. Everybody makes mistakes, but uh, I do my absolute best to try to keep myself from any compromising situations. Uh, that being said, um, people can. Th this is moving on to the to the conduct side of things. Um, you are free to say whatever you would like within uh, YouTube comments. The, I, I do not ban in the YouTube comments that often. I think. It might happen maybe once a month, maybe, you know, maybe once every other week or so, but there's very specific reasons why I'll ban somebody from the YouTube comments. If you don't like my review, or you find that I made a mistake in the review, or if you just don't like my voice, or whatever, if you, if you just don't like the video, feel free to say so. You can, you can critique my critique all day long. I can, I can take it. Um, the things that I, I, you know, ban about are uh, any type of bullying behavior, uh, no bullying of any sort whatsoever, so, uh, you know, that kind of stuff has no place in society, and they certainly don't have any place within uh, uh, the YouTube comments here on my channel. Um, no bigotry of any type, no homophobia, no racism, sexism, etc., etc., just, I just don't have, uh, any patience for that kind of stuff. So if I see it, it's an instant ban hammer. Sorry. If it's in your username or if it's within the comments at all, it's just an instant ban. Um, again, that's just a that's just a standard, no big, gigantic, generic, no bullying type of of uh, of uh, clause. And I, again, it you know people are here to watch video reviews about video games. They're not here to feel crappier about themselves. Um, Oh yeah, and there's uh, there is one final thing that I do ban about. Don't channel spam on my YouTube videos. I've never done it. Don't do it yourself. It is really, really in poor taste and super annoying. And by channel spam, I mean like coming over onto the channel and being like, yo, you like this guy's videos? You should go to my channel and check out my stuff. Just just get out of here with that stuff. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that gets an insta-ban on my channel. So I guess that's really it in terms of what's a bannable offense on the channel. No bigotry, no bullying, uh, and no spam. That's it. I mean, that's three pretty simple rules. I mean, I, I, there's no place for it in society, and there's really no place for it here. People are just coming here to see video reviews, and I'm trying to serve as fair a review as possible. Again, if you feel like I can be more transparent, if you feel like uh, I've been compromised in any way, shape, or form, please let me know, and I will happily address that. Um, thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.